Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. I think we can start this week's tip with a question, which is how many times have you guys tried to log in into Dynamics 365 or into your model driven application and receive that, you know, timeout message telling you you have to re log in? Obviously, all of us have been through that. All of the users go through that. For some people, it's very inconvenient. For some organizations, it's not nearly enough. And what I'm talking about here is the limitation that we have in terms of a session length in Dynamics 365 and model-driven applications. By default, a session, meaning when I log in, before I can get asked to log in again, my session will last 24 hours. That is not only the default, but it's the limit that we can put in place for our users. So this tip is going to go two ways. Number one, I want to show you how you can modify that. So for example, for those organizations that 24 hours is not enough, then maybe you say, you know what, I want them to log in again every eight hours. So I want to make my session you know, only last eight hours instead of 24, that's fine. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. And then I want to talk about the organizations that say, you know, I'm okay with 24 as long as there's some activity happening, as long as somebody's working on it. I just don't want someone to just log in once, use it for five minutes, and now have a session essentially ready to go for 24 hours. You know, if 30 minutes go by and they're not using it, or if an hour maybe because you want to account for lunch, let's just say, if two hours go by and there's no activity, then at that point, make them log in again. So I want to keep it for 24 hours, but if two hours of inactivities go through, I want to log them out. You can do all of that, and that is today's tip. So let's start the countdown, and let's go. So in here in Dynamics 365, I'm going to navigate into my advanced settings. So I'm going to click in advanced settings. And once this loads up, I'm going to navigate into administration and system settings. And right there, just on the general tab, you're going to click right in the middle of the screen and scroll down and all the way to the end. And you will notice that we're going to hit a couple of settings here. The first one is the session timeout. Now, so as you can see, mine is using the default, which is 24 hours. And if that's not enough, maybe you want to set a custom one. So as, as you can see, 1440, that is 24 hours. So maybe that's not enough. Maybe you say, you know, this one has to be, you know, six hours or something like that. So you can go ahead and modify that. You can say 360 minutes if that's what you want it to be, six hours instead of the 24. And then you have a second one, uh, a second setting right here that says how long before I give you a timeout warning. So by default is 20 minutes. So, you know, if you leave the default 23 hours and 40 minutes later, you're going to get a notification that tells you, hey, by the way, you have 20 minutes left before you're required to re-log in. You can modify that. Obviously, if you reduce this time, maybe you want to do 30 minutes before or an hour before, whatever it is, based on you know, your settings within your organization. But for now, I'm going to keep it as a default 24 hours. I'm good to go there. Only log in once every 24 hours. The second setting is the inactivity timeout. So that setting is actually off by default, which means, again, somebody can log in, use it for five minutes, and then not connect again for 23 hours and still be logged in when they come back. Maybe you don't want that. You don't like that to be the case. So what I can do here is I can enable this. And then I can set how many minutes of inactivity is enough for me to time them out. So I can say, for example, that 120 minutes is my limit of inactivity. And then you also have a second setting for a warning. So you can say, you know, 20 minutes before the 120. So 100 go by 20 minutes uh, before that expiration. Give them an, a warning that says, hey, in 20 minutes, your session is going to expire if you don't do something. So you can go ahead and do that. But then again, I feel that if I'm going to give them a warning, then they're going to just do something really quick to reset that clock. And it's, it's going to be more annoying than anything. So in this case, the projects that I've done when this has been required, I don't give them a warning. I just, 
you know, if you go two hours and we obviously we address it during training, we say if you go two hours without doing anything, then you're going to have to re-log in and people understand that. And then the 24 hours is mandatory. You, you don't really get to turn that off uh, or increase that number forever. So as you can see, like if I go here and I try to enter 10,000 minutes or whatever, I'm going to get an error that says, sorry, the maximum you can do is 1440, which is those 24 hours. So we cannot make it unlimited, but we can definitely reduce that if that's something that you want to get more uh, strict about. And obviously, again, the inactivity timeout can be turned on if that is what your company needs. I hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week.